If you, like me, struggle to titillate the other gender or feel that your tastes border on the absurd take solace in the knowledge that, for the most part, you have it a little better than the rest of the animal kingdom. From snake orgies to dismemberment and cannibalism, these are five of the most bizarre animal acts of love. Red-sided garter snake. Red-sided garter snakes indulge in a massive orgy, with one female having over 100 males attempting to mate with her at once. Not unlike a certain ex of mine, except I may be exaggerating the numbers. Slightly. During this mass orgy gigantic nesting balls are formed, with an immense number of snakes squashed together in a deathly crush. Unfortunately this often kills the poor females at the bottom of the pile. Even though the females are dead the males continue to mate with them. What gentlemen? Slug. The male slug's penis is so disproportionately large in comparison to his body that he must find a delightful female companion of equal size. Or risk having the offending organ bitten off during intercourse. A clear case of size matters if I ever saw it. Camel. This fellow brings a whole new meaning to the idea of drooling after a good-looking gal. When he's in the mood for some loving, the male camel starts salivating excessively, creating a foaming white froth that covers his jowls. If that wasn't enough to get the attention of his paramer he also produces a soft, pink sac which lulls out the side of his jaw effectively making him irresistible to her. I never quite managed to pull off this technique, though, as foolproof as it might seem. Honeybee. I'm sure Shakespeare was inspired by the poor honeybee. There is nigh nothing that has quite perfected the tragic romantic act of dying for love quite like this busy body. After ejaculation, the male honeybee's genitals stay lodged within the queen bee, breaking off his body completely. Whilst his ex-genitals prevent any other ox from smocking his queen, by acting like a plug, the poor guy dies soon after due to having his penis wrenched off in the heat of passion. Best sex of his life? More like only sex of his life. Praying Mantis. Everyone always goes on about the Black Widow and how evil she is whilst little Missy am innocently praying gets a free pass. More like Praying Mantis, if you ask me. The female praying mantis doesn't even wait for the poor guy to finish as she starts devouring his head during intercourse. When she was asking for head he clearly didn't comprehend what she meant. The good news is that even without his head, the male can continue the act. Now that's stamina. So next time you find yourself struggling to entice a lady just consider the lengths some of our other friends in the animal kingdom go to. Puts a little bit of perspective on your McGur attempt of flowers and paying for the bill doesn't it? Thank you so much for being here, bye.